Hey, 42 here. Tucked away in the constellation Libra, 190 light years from Earth, is a stellar anomaly. An ancient mystery so baffling it forced scientists to question everything they thought they knew about our universe. At first glance, this star, officially known as HD 140283, doesn't look particularly special. It isn't unusually large or freakishly bright, and it generally conforms to widely accepted models of stellar evolution. But in the year 2000, this apparently unassuming star sent the entire scientific world into turmoil. Astronomers had long suspected that HD 140283 was old, thanks to its unusual composition, more on that later in the video, but when they first attempted to figure out exactly how old, the number they came up with was unexpected. Because HD 140283 wasn't just old, it was impossibly ancient. And I'm not using the word impossible for effect here. According to the astronomers' careful calculations, this strange star was 16 billion years old. Or to put that another way, it was 2 billion years older than the universe itself. This is the story of the star that shouldn't exist. This is the story of HD 140283, better known as the Methuselah Star. Now, people think that performing at the highest level requires you to be stressed, but that's just not true. Five years ago, Magic Mind set out to create a drink that can consistently get you to 100% mental performance without any of the downsides such as over-caffeination, jitters, and anxiety. You see, Magic Mind contains adaptogens such as ashwagandha that helps combat stress. It also contains organic lion's mane mushroom to boost your everyday cognitive power. At the start of this year, I tried Magic Mind for the first time and I found it so effective that I've continued to take it every day for the past few months. Magic Mind is different from others because it's 100% safe, all the ingredients are third party tested and sourced from the best suppliers, and it's not a quick fix. Magic Mind believes mental performance should be tackled over the long term. Some of their ingredients can take three to four days to reach their full effect. After my first week trying it, I still remember that feeling of increased attention each day I continue to take it. Magic Mind is doctor validated. It's created with a scientific advisory board of doctors and medical research, and it was developed over 10 years to create the perfect formula. The matcha in this is the highest possible grade grown in Japan, and their own mushrooms are grown organically in California. So go to www.magicmind.com 42 and use my code 42 to get up to 48% off your first subscription for the next 10 days or 20% off a one-time purchase. Don't miss out. And a big thanks to Magic Mind for sponsoring this video. The early universe was a very different place to the fancy schmancy modern one we all live in today. After the Big Bang, the entirety of existence was basically just one giant hot soup of protons, neutrons, and electrons. After a few hundred thousand years, things had cooled down enough for the first atoms to form. These atoms were almost exclusively hydrogen and helium, and around 150 to 200 million years after the Big Bang, these enterprising young particles got together to form the very first stars. That must have been the bit where God said, let there be light. Somewhat confusingly, these very first generation of stars are known to astronomers as population-free stars. We've never directly observed any of them, so scientists aren't 100% sure what they look like. We know they must have been made almost exclusively of primordial hydrogen and helium, because that's literally all there was, and the general consensus is that they were very large. 60 to 300 times more massive than the Sun. Oh, and extremely hot and luminous. Somewhat counterintuitively, larger stars have shorter lifespans than smaller ones. That's because the larger the star, the stronger the gravitational forces it creates. Stronger gravitational forces means higher core temperatures, and higher core temperatures increase the rate at which the nuclear reactions occur. Even though larger stars have correspondingly larger fuel supplies than smaller ones, they use that fuel up so quickly that they are much shorter lived. 
Because population freestars were so huge, probably, they didn't last very long, exhausting their fuel supplies in as little as a few hundred million years before blowing themselves to bits in the universe's first supernovae. These colossal stellar explosions spewed the innards of these population free stars back out into the universe, releasing the very first heavy elements, which had been created by a process called nucleosynthesis, both in the star's cores and during the supernovae themselves. The new generation of stars that formed from the guts of the population free stars are imaginatively called population two stars. And unlike their parents, they contain some heavy elements, though in much lower quantities than younger population one stars like our sun. Scientists first realized that HD 140283 was old back in the 50s when they used spectroscopic analysis to determine that it contained extremely low levels of heavy elements. For example, it contains just 0.4% of the amount of iron found in the sun. That tells us that HD 140283 is a very old star, formed before heavy elements like iron were abundant in the universe. But it wasn't until relatively recently that scientists were able to estimate just how old. Using data gathered by the European Space Agency's Hipparchus satellite, they concluded that HD 140283 has existed for 16 billion years. A full 2 billion years longer than, well, existence itself. <gasps> News that astronomers had found a star that appeared to be older than the universe quickly made headlines around the world. If their findings were correct, they called into question our entire understanding of the cosmos. By the turn of the millennium, and after many decades of fierce debate, the Big Bang Theory had finally won over almost the entire scientific community and firmly established itself as the origin story of our universe. But if HD 140283 really was as old as it appeared to be, it was cast iron proof that we'd gotten something badly wrong. Some scientists were questioning whether it invalidated the Big Bang Theory entirely. So HD 140283 was kind of a big deal. A big deal, but also a bit of a mouthful. And so the press soon came up with a catchier, more print-friendly nickname for this celestial oddity. From that moment onwards, it would become known as the Methuselah Star. In case you've skived off Bible school growing up, Methuselah, son of Enoch, was the longest living man in the Bible. According to the book of Genesis, he reached the grand old age of 969 before dying, not long before the arrival of the Great Flood. Okay, so what exactly was going on here? How is it even possible for a star to be older than the universe itself? Well, the short answer is, of course, that it isn't possible. And that could only mean one thing. Somebody, somewhere, had really, really buggered something up. Either the Methuselah star was younger than it appeared, or the universe was older. But which one was it? Well, the answer is actually quite a lot more complicated than you might think. According to our current best estimates, the universe we all call home is about 13.8 billion years old. But whilst that figure is often taken to be an immutable fact, unless you get your science from alternative sources, the truth is that the currently accepted age of our universe is still just an estimate, and one that not everyone in the scientific community agrees with. Earlier this year, the James Webb Telescope took this image. This tiny blob right here is a galaxy called Jade's GS Z140 sitting a cool 33.6 billion light years away from Earth. It is the most distant object we've ever observed. Thanks to the frankly absurd scale of our universe and the comparatively sluggish pace of light moving through it, when we look at Jade's GS Z140, we see it not as it looks today, but as it appeared just 290 million years after the Big Bang. And that appearance is not at all what astronomers were expecting. The galaxy is relatively large, about 1,600 light years across, and very luminous, shining with the light of hundreds of millions of suns. Based on what we think we know about the universe, 
The formation of a galaxy this large simply shouldn't have been possible so soon after the Big Bang. So, what does that mean? Well, some astronomers believe the universe may actually be significantly older than we previously thought. In fact, a 2023 study made headlines by concluding that the universe is almost twice as old as the current estimate at around 26.7 billion years. So, is the Methuselah star further evidence that the universe is much older than we thought? Well, not necessarily. Whilst it's true that the age of the universe is still debated, the figure I mentioned earlier, 13.8 billion years, has got something very important going for it. We can confirm it in several different ways. One of those ways is by studying the cosmic microwave background to determine the initial conditions in the universe and how it evolved from there. And another is to use Hubble's law to rewind the expansion of the universe to figure out when that expansion first began. Crucially, these unrelated methods both give us strikingly similar numbers for the age of the universe. For that reason, the vast majority of the scientific community is in agreement that the universe is indeed 13.8 billion years old. We aren't completely sure, but we're pretty darn close. So, if we're pretty confident about the age of the universe, we must have got the age of the Methuselah star wrong, right? Well, in 2013, that's exactly what a team of astronomers from Penn State University attempted to find out. Calculating the age of a single star is a surprisingly difficult thing to do. The age of the universe can be verified using various factors like the cosmic microwave background and Hubble's law, but when it comes to dating single stars all on their lonesome, there are no other factors. All we have to go on is what we can observe of the star today. There are several different ways to calculate the age of a star, but all of them have something in common. They require accurate data about the star in question, things like its luminosity, distance from Earth, mass and composition. Scientists can then plug those parameters into stellar evolutionary models to predict the life cycle of the star and, ultimately, estimate its age. If the models and data used are perfect, the calculated age of the star will be perfect too, but any errors will impact the accuracy of the result. So the most obvious place for the Penn State team to start was to confirm whether or not the observational data used to calculate the age of the Methuselah star was accurate in the first place. Spoiler alert, it wasn't. Between 2003 and 2011, the legendary Hubble Space Telescope made almost a dozen different sets of observations of the Methuselah star. Using this newer, more accurate data, and a few tweaks to the stellar evolutionary model used, the Penn State University team were able to calculate a more accurate estimate for the age of the star. The good news was that the new number was lower than the one from the previous study. The not-so-good news was that the figure they came up with, 14.46 billion years, was still older than the age of the universe. There was a silver lining, though. The residual uncertainty of the new age that was calculated was 0.8 billion years. In other words, if the true age of the Methuselah star happens to fall towards the lower end of the updated estimate, it didn't clash with the accepted age of the universe. But it still wasn't ideal. Even though the new result hinted that the Methuselah star might not spell the end of reality as we know it after all, it still clearly demonstrated that we were getting something somewhere very wrong. Either the data we had on the star still wasn't correct, the stellar evolutionary models didn't work, or we needed to take another look at our estimate for the age of the universe. In other words, it was back to the drawing board. But over the last decade, there have been several more studies of this mysterious star, each one using better data and more accurate models than the last, in an attempt to clear this mess up once and for all. A paper published in 2014 nudged the estimated age of the star down to 14.27 billion years. And in 2021, that figure was brought all the way down to 12 billion years comfortably younger than the universe. In some ways, it might sound like a bit of an anticlimax that this star that breaks the universe is actually just a really old star that, if anything, 
actually kind of supports our current cosmological model. But the truth is, the Methuselah star is still one of the most fascinating objects in the cosmos. It may not have forced us to reevaluate our understanding of the universe, but it still helped us to shape it. Back in 1951, the Methuselah star, well, just plain old HD 140283, as it was known back then, was the first star ever detected with a much lower heavy element content than we find in the Sun. And that observation was the clue that astronomers like Fred Hoyle needed to first realise that elements heavier than helium are made inside stars. The Methuselah star is also a good reminder that we still have a lot to learn about our universe. Our understanding of the cosmos has come an incredibly long way in a remarkably short space of time. But much of what we think we know is based on certain assumptions. It's inevitable that some of those assumptions will turn out to be wrong. Which means a lot of science textbooks will need to be updated in the decades and centuries ahead. That's all a part of progress. Whatever the precise age of the Methuselah star turns out to be, so far as we know, this ancient star was born before the formation of the Milky Way itself. And yet, despite its incredible age, believe it or not, it's still just a baby. At the moment, it's classified as a subgiant. That's what our sun will become in about 5 billion years from now. But eventually, the Methuselah will exhaust all of its fuel and shed its outer layer of gas, becoming a kind of stellar remnant known as a white dwarf. At that point, it will no longer be fusing atoms in its core, but it will continue to shine faintly for about 10 trillion years until all its residual heat has been radiated out into space and it becomes a black dwarf. The Methuselah star may be incredibly ancient by today's standards, but it has only lived about 0.1% of its expected lifespan. To put that into perspective, if the Methuselah star was a human being with a life expectancy of about 80 years, right now it would be about one month old, a newborn. Perhaps the coolest thing about this incredible star is that with an apparent magnitude of about seven, you don't need the Hubble telescope to go and take a look at it for yourself. It isn't visible of the naked eye, but grab yourself a pair of binoculars and on a clear night, you should be able to find it from your own back garden. If you manage to find it, congratulations. You're looking at one of the oldest stars in the entire universe. And, very likely, the most ancient object you will ever see with your own two eyes. Thanks for watching. Just a quick word to say that I couldn't make these videos without the support of my Patreon members. Consider joining the exclusive 42 Discord community by supporting me on Patreon. It's a great place to discuss my videos with like-minded individuals and myself. The link's in the description, but if you don't want to, or you can't join my Patreon, then please don't worry. A simple like or comment to say thanks would also put a huge smile on my face. Thank you.